quick video featuring the Mr. Beer home beer kit and how to make it. And this is hopefully the end result. Happy man, pint of beer. I'm going to try and make a Pilsner using uh, some high country Canadian draft malt extract combined with more malt extract. And this is Pale Export. Got my sanitizer, keg, quarter full of water, and I'm about to sanitize all the various items. I'm putting about a half of the packet of sanitizer in with a quart of water into the keg. But I'm going to put the lid on. I'm going to give this a good swirl about and leave it to soak for about 10 minutes. Okay, that's 15 minutes I left it in there. Um, sanitized bowl. And it goes in there. All the tools are in here. Okay, I'm going to give this a little more of a, a steep because my watch touched it. Keep it nice and clean. Give it another swirl around. I'm back in 10 minutes. While we're waiting for the sanitation to do its thing, we'll have a look at the side of the box and uh, check out its contents. You get the keg, which is two gallons. You get the the malt and the yeast, which is in with the malt. A um, bunch of bottles, eight of those, plastic, and a brewing guide. And that's it. It's quite a simple setup. It's been fully sanitized, and I'm going to fill it up to uh, a quart of cold water and in the meantime I'm going to take the yeast from the from the top of the can here brewing yeast we put the two cans of malt into some warm water as advised to soften that up to make it easier to pour into the pot next I'm taking my sanitized cup and I'm going to put in four cups of water into my sanitized brewing pot here. Boil. Okay, it's time to add the malts into the uh, boiling water. Let's try the uh, Canadian draft goes in first. The water's gone in here. It's a sort of caramelly brown looking liquid. And I'm gonna fill the rest of the barrel up to 8.5 quarts here with delicious cat skill water. It's been topped up to 8.5 liters with cold water. I put the lid on, gave it a really good shake. It's looking kind of frothy. Now to add, add the magic ingredient, the yeast, which will do it alchemy. Okay, the yeast is in there. I'm going to let it sit for five minutes and give it a really good shake. Time to put the keg somewhere out of direct sunlight in a location with a consistent temperature between 68 and 76 degrees Fahrenheit um, for a minimum of seven days it says here on the instructions. Um, seven days is nowhere near long enough, uh, two weeks definitely as a minimum. Okay, let's take it to the cellar and I'll show you where it's going to stay for the next two weeks. And here's the cellar where I have placed the new batch, which is going to be a first pitch Pilsner, and this one, which will be ready next week, I hope, will be an English nut brown ale, which I'm going to call English Nutter. And in the back here are two that I made earlier, which is the IPA. They suggest that you keep this in the fridge for a couple of days before you uh, drink it, but 
I think we'll be okay. This is all cat skill blind eye. Let's see how it tastes. 